and all of a sudden I just happened to look out at the right time and saw like this giant streak across the sky. Tim Plamondon watched a meteor light up the night sky over northwest Edmonton, something scientists call a fireball. As a space enthusiast, Plamondon has questions. I'd be curious to know if, if, if it did land somewhere, if there's going to be fragments found around the area. I guess I would wonder if, if this was something that was being tracked coming into our atmosphere or if it was just like a random one off. So I came to the TELUS world of science to find answers to those questions and to touch a real meteorite. What's happening is that the Earth's atmosphere is heating up because this object's moving in so very quickly through the Earth's atmosphere. The air heats up by an astounding amount glowing and that gives us that kind of bright kind of light that we see in the sky. Frank Florian says no pieces of that meteor, also known as meteorites, have been found yet. And he's skeptical any will be found based on the videos he's seen. It flares out maybe around 60 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Uh, and then if it's, again, a smaller piece or if it's a softer rock, it could just fragment in the air into just dust and there's nothing to be left on the ground to, re to recover. In answer to Plamondon's question of whether or not the meteor was predicted to enter the atmosphere, Florian says no because it's too small to track. But they are keeping an eye on asteroids and bigger rocks in space. However, on the chance that someone might spot a meteorite on the ground in Edmonton, Florian tells you what to look for. A rock that looks black on the outer surface, outer surface, but on the inside might be totally different. And uh, it would, uh, you know, normally be magnetic as well. So if you have a magnet and bring a magnet close to it, again, most meteorites contain bits of iron. So if you find a rock you suspect may be a meteorite, you can reach out to Christopher Hurd at the University of Alberta or Frank Florian here at the TELUS World of Science to get it verified. In Edmonton, holding a real meteorite, Sarah Chu, City News.